And we begin with a top focus right now. The Indian Ministry of External Affairs welcomed the release of eight nationals who were detained in Qatar. The Indian government stated that seven of them have returned to the country and New Delhi appreciated Doha's decision to enable the release and homecoming of these nationals. The Indian men were arrested by Qatari authorities in August 2022 and they were kept in detention without specifying the crimes that was committed by them. Of our Prime Minister and his personal interaction and involvement uh, with the Amir of Qatar. We are thankful for so much for the government of India. Thank you so much. We have waited uh, almost 18 months to be back in India. We are extremely grateful to the Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji. It certainly wouldn't have been possible without his uh, personal intervention and that equation with uh, the Emir of Qatar. Uh, I think we are grateful to the government of India, the bottom of our heart, for the every effort that has been made. And this day wouldn't have been possible without it. Grateful indeed. Thank you so much. Now, months later, they faced charges filed in March 2023 and underwent legal proceedings. According to Qatari law, in November, the eight Indians who worked for Dara Global Technologies and Consultancy Services were handed a death penalty. And at the time, New Delhi expressed shock over the verdict and vowed to explore all the legal options to secure the release of its citizens. And in December, a Qatar court decided to reduce the death sentences after the acceptance of an appeal by the Indian government. Delighted to be back in India, safe and sound. We thank Prime Minister Narendra Modi for his personal intervention. We also thank the Emir of Qatar for making this possible. And for the latest, uh, we are now joined on the phone line by our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddhant Sibyl, and he joins us live from Abu Dhabi. Now, Siddhant, eight veterans of the Indian Navy who were jailed in Qatar are now being released by Doha. Tell us what you have more on this. Well, uh, essentially, when it comes to uh, the entire development, this is an important development uh, first, of course, uh, this is something that was a long-standing case. Uh, uh, we know that uh, it had gone to higher courts as well. And then, of course, uh, uh, the entire capital punishment was uh, removed. But uh, we know that this is being seen as a big diplomatic victory. It must have gone through political processes as well. We know that the Indian Prime Minister and the Qatari Amir had conversations. Uh, and uh, also, when it comes to uh, the entire uh, thing, uh, the focus is, to resolve the entire issue uh, as, as soon as possible and that is what the Indian government has been able to achieve. Also take us through the timeline of this case. Well, the timeline of course is something that takes uh, 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 the entire process. Uh, it started with 2022 when uh, we know that they were taken into custody. Uh, then, of course, we know it went into courts uh, where the higher court and uh, uh, the other courts, uh, the Indian government had gone. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the Indian government was able to get the repeat. We also saw the Prime Minister and the Qatri Amir having conversation in um, Dubai as well. So uh, there were multiple levels at which the Indian government was engaged, both at legal, political and, of course, uh, diplomatic levels. All right, Sadan, thanks for joining us and giving us all those updates.